Uh, what it do? You know what it is. Hot boy major. TV. Get them trigger fingers ready. Brrr, get them like button ready. Bang, bing, bang. Bing, bang, bang. Brrr, run that thing up. I did that. You hear me? Don't forget to comment. We in the streets with you. You know what it is. You know what it is. Show them where we at. Show them where we at. You hear me? Right here. Right now. We at a sacred location. You hear me? Uh, history moment. Once again. You hear me? I almost was raped and murdered, you know what I'm saying, by the Baton Rouge serial killer, Derek Tarly, you know what I'm saying? And it's real, when I when I say that, it ain't no game, you hear me? He could have had me, you hear me? Because good why, he got my auntie, he got my auntie. And I'm gonna run you the story about how he got my auntie and how he could have got me, you hear me? But uh, look him up, Derek Tarly, the infamous, he got more bodies than anything in Baton Rouge, Derek Tarly, you hear me? But he liked that white meat. But he liked white meat. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was particular about that white meat. But he but he he ate dark meat. But he ate dark meat. You hear me? So, man, look him up, bro. Dead Carl Lee, man. Serial killer. You hear me? Um, born in San Francisco, via Louisiana. You hear me? And the ironic part is, he was he ended up in Angola. St. Francis, Louisiana. So he felt at home. So he felt at home. But um, yeah, bro. So this is the story about how um my auntie became a victim of Derry Tarly, one of his many victims. Um, you know, he was on the loose right out here in these bad little streets. You know what I'm saying? Um, so check it out. You know, my auntie, like a man, she used to, you know, she used to sell poor. She used to you know, prostitute in the streets. It used to, you know, she used to do a thing in the streets, but she was, she was our auntie, you know what I'm saying? So look, it's like 2000 or something round up in that time. But, um, so she used to prostitute, go to the store back and forth on the bike, prostitute and stuff, and be tricking, jumping in cars and stuff with me. And so when we'll come by her house, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knew what she did, so you know, cousin solo dope and stuff like that. But you know, she our family member. So look, she always had me and pulling up by our house and stuff, dropping off, jumping in cars right here, side streets right here, all around, you know what I'm saying, the Baton Rouge City. Cause that's the lifestyle she lived. You hear me? So look, real shit, bro. Like, um So when they say um Baton Rouge, once once they realize or once they admitted to the public it was a serial killer on the loops because they couldn't hide it no more the body was popping up you hear me once they admitted to the bad news public that a serial killer was on the loops you hear me it had got frenzy it got it got crazy you hear me everybody scared the locking they doors doing this doing that locking you know being careful and shit you know what i'm saying so look so um one day it had like a green truck. We out there. Then when we first smoking weed, we young. It's like had like a green truck. So look. The truck, my auntie, she jumped in the truck. You hear me? So we out there. So auntie, she come out the door like she knew the people. You hear me? I'm thinking like she knew the people. So she jumped in the truck. We out there just smoking this stuff. You hear me? So look. She jumped in the truck. It never pulled out. So we wait. You know, we just thinking she's normal. She us. So look, the nigga that jumped out the truck, Derrick Tarly. Got a cigarette, asked for a cigarette or some shit. Nigga gave him a cigarette and shit. You know what I'm saying? My auntie telling my little partner, don't be smoking no cigarettes, doing all that stuff in front of the house. Woo, 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 because we was still kind of young. Well, he was, he was very much young. Yeah, but he jumped out the truck, got a cigarette, woo, woo. Y'all good, little one? Woo, woo. Like Randy with it. What's happening with it, bro? Appreciate it. Y'all good, little you, woo, woo. So we like, damn, auntie got a good one. Yeah. Yeah, my auntie got a good one. Ain't now one of her tricks. I prostitute jumped out the car. You hear me? So look. Burnt out. So he get back in the truck. Burnt out. You hear me? Boom. So like, I say about an hour or two. Pad. Boom. So look. The truck done whipped up. Boom. Whipped back up. So now we fake no one in the truck. She done jumped out. Boom. Came. Whatever. Drank and beer. Had a little money. Whatever. So Derek Tarly was a prostitute. And, and auntie, and auntie wasn't that hot. I'm talking about auntie wasn't that hot at all. Uh, you know, auntie wasn't that hot at all. You hear me? Let's keep it real. Auntie wasn't that hot at all. 
You hear me? So this nigga was a maniac. You hear me? But he like white beat. You hear me? So look. On the new bad news serial killer. You know, woo, woo, woo. People telling T they might need to slow down. You know, got the serial killer out. Woo, woo, woo. They got the serial killer out. Be careful. Woo, woo, woo. You know, so be careful. T steady hustling. T steady doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? So look. It went down. Next day, T did to jump back in the truck with the dude. But I'm, I'm talking about in the midst of everything. Everybody know. Everybody know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? That they gotta put. Ain't nobody taking it serious because they saying like white people, white people. They totally took like three people with them. Black. You hear me? So look. Next day, T did to jump in the car with him. You hear me? You hear me? But I wasn't out there. They say Tita left in the truck. So boom, that what it was. Tita left in the green truck. Tita left in the green truck. So look. Real shit, bro. What else? The last thing we heard from Tita. Like we out there that day. Next day, next day. We, I'm calling myself joking, man. She still killed the mighty God. See, man. I swear to God, man. Ain't on real shit, man. All right, Peter Tita, man. All right, Peter Tita, man. They found Tita on the ground right over there. Show up right there, man. Victim of the arm, naked, naked, face down, bound, bound, you know what I'm saying? Bound. It just was a harbor, bro. It was harbor, so it was harbor, you know, found teeth, so just know what's going on, you hear me? Believe that, bro. And, um, so, women, be careful who you really jump in the cars with. Be careful who you go on the clubs with. Like, like, not often, but it does happen. It's real. Y'all know one thing. Kidnapping is all the time high, but they found Tita right over there. See? Naked, bound. You hear me? And, um, it was a sad situation, bro, because we watched. Because we watched what she went through. You hear me? We watched. We, we like, we, I ain't going to say aided, it, but we, we didn't mind what she was doing. We didn't tell her. Like all the time, don't do that. We press that to her. Don't do that. Woo woo woo. But you can't press that to a grown up. You know what I'm saying? But Derek Tarly was a real animal. You hear me? He, he um real serial killer. Did not play. Look him up. You know what I'm saying? Um, they, they finally caught him through DNA after he had seven plus women. You hear me? He had beat two when he was young. You hear me? And he died in Zagre, Louisiana, at the at a hospital. He really actually died on death row. In Louisiana State Penitentiary, aka Angola. You hear me? So yeah, man. Um, women be careful. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to have fun, but all that does, you gotta know what you're doing. The serial killers on the loose. You know, I could have been raped and, and murdered. Just imagine if he would have took me. You know what I'm saying? Took me, man. Y'all come ride. Woo, take you or anything. Just took me. Could have raped and killed me. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? So my antenna be. Buck like a mug, so you know what I'm saying, man. Um, R.I.P. to T to everybody who affected by it, man. Every other victim up there, Tar Lee. Um, shout out to the, you know, just for getting them out the street. And they had him on death row. They wanted to electrocute him, like hit him with that needle, but he died. He died heart failure, heart disease or something. He died like heart disease, heart failure. They wanted to hit him with that needle. The white folks here, real grab him. They got him. They got him. Yeah. I'm glad they got him. He could have got me. I, the way he looked at me in my eyes, yeah, he wants to try to do something with me. I'll go. <laughs> but see, Derek Tully, he went down. The guy, you hear me? He ain't tried no man. He tried all women. But uh, R.I.P.T. found the right over there. Uh, R.I.P. Everybody, all the other victims. You know what I'm saying? He was dumping them all around the Baton Rouge area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I survived a serial killer. I survived a serial killer. Real life. Hot boy, man. Hot Boy Major TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, like this thing up. I need you. Major.